There is so much hype online about where to open your LLC. And while it is, I guess, it is a big decision, for most of my clients, it doesn't make that big of a difference when you go to any of the hyped up states. And let me explain. First, let's take a step back. For U.S. residents and people who live in the United States, you should probably just register an LLC in the state where you live and do business. This will be cheaper for you in the long run and easier and easier to comply with local regulations. That's fine. So I got that out of the way. If you, if you end up, if you're based in the U.S. and you're in Florida, but you want a Delaware company, it's fine. It'll work. But you need better reasons than just to pay no taxes because it doesn't really work like that. You still have to pay Florida taxes because you live and do business in Florida. So that said, most of my clients and the people I work with are non-residents. And they'll say things like, um, there's, there's the, big, the big four, I guess. Delaware, Wyoming, Nevada, and New Mexico are the most popular ones that I see. I don't see that many in Nevada, to be honest with you. It's mostly Delaware, Wyoming, and New Mexico. And I'll talk about some differences between these, what I like the most, and what you should consider when you're opening a company. So first of all, all of these options will maintain the privacy of the owner. They don't see who the owner is, and you generally have an attorney or third party opening the company on your behalf, so the state won't even know who you are. And that's the same for all of these options. Every option in basically every state requires a registered agent, and that's nothing uh, new. You have to usually you pay for that, and usually it's the same across all the states. The filing fees for opening these companies are a little bit different. Nevada's a little bit higher. Delaware's, I think, uh, a little lower, but the renewal cost is a little more. Uh, and then Wyoming and New Mexico are the cheapest. Wyoming actually has a renewal that you have to do every year, where you have to pay. Uh, you have to pay the state to um, to renew the company and keep it in legal status, which is about $150, whereas New Mexico doesn't have this. Delaware is a $300 annual renewal, so it's a little bit more expensive. So apart from that, from a tax standpoint, they're all exactly the same. You can open a Florida LLC, a New York LLC, a Delaware LLC, a California LLC, and, and as a non-resident with no U.S. trade or business, you still won't pay taxes in the U.S. So there's no benefit of this state or that state in that instance. For a U.S. corporation, uh, I would generally use Delaware or Wyoming because they don't have corporate taxes uh, the same way that other states do. Whereas if you had a Florida corporation, you're paying, I think, 4.5%. Don't quote me on that. I didn't, I didn't research it. But you're paying, some in, you're, you're paying income taxes on your profit pending the, there's also a $50,000 exemption in Florida. So if you're using an LLC, like I said, you're a non-resident with no U.S. source income, New Mexico is a fine choice. Wyoming is a good choice. And so is Delaware. Again, I don't like Nevada as much, a little more expensive. The, the pro with New Mexico is a little cheaper in the long run. Um, but I, for most of my clients, use Wyoming. And this is the, the biggest reason I use Wyoming for the LLCs that I open. There's two reasons. First, it's a little bit cheaper. That's fine. It's not the most important thing. Um, the second thing I like about Wyoming LLCs over Delaware, and I'm not going to comment much on New Mexico because I haven't opened very many New Mexico companies. It's generally uh, Wyoming because I, I just like the way their back office works. I like the um, the way the speed in which they issue the documents, and I like the way that they're set up and structured. Um, another thing that I like. The reason I don't usually go with Delaware is because at this point, Delaware is on the blacklist of certain countries. For example, I believe in Brazil, it's a, it's a tax haven. Delaware is. Wyoming isn't. So it's kind of interesting that they have the same tax impacts, but one is a blacklisted and the other one isn't. So it's right now, Wyoming is less, is more, is less infamous to me than Delaware is. Delaware is like this big corporate tax haven uh, thing that a lot of uh, people will look at it like when when reality wyoming has the same exact tax impacts so i mean i'm giving you insights into how i look at it and what what's what i usually do however the truth is and the most important thing is that the income tax differences don't really matter and the, there's no differences in the sales taxes generally and then also um the fees are pretty similar in doing this as well so with an llc it really doesn't matter i usually pick wyoming uh, New Mexico is a fine choice. So is Delaware. 
so is Nevada. Florida is fine. It's not private. Uh, you can look up who the owner is. But really, from a tax standpoint, it doesn't matter. If you don't have nothing to hide, then there's no reason that you wouldn't want a Florida company instead. You know, it, it doesn't matter that much. So my point for this video is to just start already, open the company and get rolling and see what you can do with it. See if you can make some money. When we're talking about a corporation, which I don't know if that's not really the whole point of this video, it's going to be first where you're doing business is where you would want to open the company. Second would be in either a state with no income taxes like Delaware or Wyoming. And then third thing you want to consider is the is the governance and the corporate governance. Most major companies use Delaware because of the, uh, how do you say it, the, their, how the, the, the laws that have been passed and the, and the precedent that has been set uh, in terms as the, uh, of like publicly traded companies and the rules for ownership and all those different things. It has more historical um, private industry favored laws which have been supported by the precedent and are easy to cite going forward. I'm not an attorney, so I don't know that much about that stuff. And I haven't dealt with any clients that have specifically had to cite Pre previous legal code and legal decisions cited or that happened in Delaware. So I don't have a lot of experience with that, but that is something that if you have a huge company, you would want to consider. And hopefully if you have a huge company, you're not using videos on the internet to make your decisions. You're probably seeking a proper legal counsel. So I hope this video is helpful. I hope it, it cut through a lot of the BS that's out there and that you're able to use it to more quickly and efficiently start your U.S. business and find all the success that you deserve. I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.